got six o'clock. Okay. I'm waiting for the thing to click. Okay. There we go. Okay, we're going to get started. We're going to start with the pledge and then Commissioner Davis. I don't know who's turn it. Davis, if you'll do the invitation. Okay. Okay. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Dear Lord, we come to you today thanking you for all the many blessings you have given us. We ask, dear Lord, at this time, please give us the wisdom and the know-how to run our city the right way and do what's best for our customers. We ask you to watch over us, godly and direct us, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. I want to welcome everybody out tonight. Uh, August monthly meeting. Hmm? I said I prayed more in the last two days than I think oh, I have last sorry. First item on the agenda is the approval of minutes. Make a motion we approve the minutes as special and regular. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the bills. Move the table of bills. Second. We have a motion to second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify with aye. Aye. Opposed, same. That motion passes. Old business. First item is limiting the number of trash bags on the sanitation route. You've got some information about the cities on what they charge. Has it become a problem? Some places. No. Some places they've had as many as 18 and 20 bags of garbage. Yeah, last week, last week. And mattresses and couches and everything else. He sent me pictures and it was some places it's had 20 and 30 bags mm -hmm. piled up out by the front of their house. That's all. Was it somebody that moved or something? Oh, this is just every week more than one place. One city here, uh, here in our area, they are allowing uh, two 45 gallon uh, trash cans, or they have to pay $5 extra uh, a month. Uh, one city does uh, 96 gallon toter. Uh, if they don't, if, if there's any extra, uh, it stays there until the Most of the people though don't put them in cans. Most of the people just put them in the bags and stick them out by the road though, don't they? Uh, I haven't had to imagine. Probably. How many bags can you get in one of those big big cans they're talking about? Three? Well, well, we've got two cans that are pretty good size, and we can get probably three or four in each one of them. Do you feel like other people are bringing their trash? I don't know. Yes, Sandy, they are. I've seen them go by and drop trash off at people's house before, and I know they don't live there. They'll just drive by and just pick, drop it off. It gets worse during the truck the, during the, the what do you call them, the trash oh, days where we go. Junk days junk is day. really bad. They get really bad at junk day. Do you think the people that live there know that they're getting, someone's doing that? Probably they don't care because they don't, they don't have to pick up the trash. Yeah. You know, well, they're just putting more trash out in front of my house. I mean, it does look bad, but they'll be gone by 7 30, 8 o'clock. So. Mm -hmm. What was our average tonnage early last summer? You tell me the numbers, I don't remember them. It's been going up progressively every, every year. Now, now we're about 32 to 36 times a week. Uh, you know, that's four full trips. Uh, I don't remember what it took me last year. I'm going to say, was 24 sound right? 23 or 4? 24, I thought. It went to 36, yeah. I was saying it was like a 13 or 14 ton increase, which is about a 50% uh -huh. increase.
how do they know? That tells them know you're going to pay the five, but they're going to leave it. Do you have a prearranged? They have to be advertised. I don't know. The customer, how's the customer going to know that? We, well, I've got uh, an extra can. How's that driver going to know? Because they may not have them all the time like that. How do they co uh, co correspond and communicate that? I don't know how they coordinate. I don't think they should have to mess with the money. I don't know. Well, anytime you mess with money, it's supposed to be fine. I think Margaret said they make a list of who pays extra money each month for extra cans. But then again, there's your driver, I guess, would be the one responsible, or somebody's got to be responsible for that truck. I can see the driver having a list and bring it back to the city clerk to, make, to do the billing. I can see that. But if we, if we want to think about totes, we were, some people won't want to buy them. Those are not cheap. Well, then you just put a number of bags that you had to set a limit on how many bags that That I can see pretty easy. That's why I wanted to know how many would probably go in a 45 total. We could probably get four in ours. What about, will they take anything that's not in a bag? Now that's one thing we could require all the boxes have to be broke down before we take them. Yeah, that's the problem you get into. You get some of them that's got a family. They got four or five kids. Yeah. You're gonna have more than. Sometimes in my shop, I'll have a bag full of sawdust or wood crap. Yeah. <laughs> and then you have an issue. Uh, somebody has a kid has a birthday. You've got a couple extra bags or a holiday, and you've got extra garbage. And I mean, it's. I would mind putting a limit on the bag to start with. But advertise it first. I wouldn't have started until this next month. But advertise it for a month. This started. Give them, fair, give them fair warning. How many, how many bags do you feel like would be fair? I don't know. I'm just saying. Larry, what is it? Six. Five? Six? What, 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 what do y'all suggest? How many do you get your house? Three or four. It just depends on what's in them, for one thing. Be our position if something went on in our house that they had a seventh or eighth. Sometimes they have an issue. What will we do? It's not more people, it's just an issue they have. I would, I would hope that we could use common sense that you know if there is seven, we'll pick it up. 
Okay. But a lot of people seem to. Well, and it may be a situation too, because these guys know right. where they're at. Uh, you know, if it's once in a while there's an extra bag, you know, you don't mind. And I met my guy a few times. It's not. I would hope my guy. Would yeah. But, but that's what I'm saying. Your guys are going to know. They're going to be able to tell you about how many bags are going to be at every house. And, and there, there's going to be a difference if, if it's like the small trash bags in the restroom where they're 20 gallons, where right. you can grab five with a hand. Well, and that's got to be something you got to think about, too. Are they going to use the, the big 50 gallon black bags or 13 gallon tall kitchen bags? Well, I can't get three of them in a tote. It, it would be nice if everybody had a, had a toter and we'd say, you know, two toters. Yeah, those things are expensive. Yeah, I think one of our garbage cans in this is 100 bucks, and it's not one of those They're big awesome. totes. We've had ours forever, and they look like <laughs> they're awful looking, but, you know, they're trash cans. Hmm. Do you have even off quiet about this? I'm just contemplating. I can't really. Uh, I can't imagine 30 bags, but then again, I can imagine how that I could run over pretty quick. That was lack of sir. Yeah. Like you say, you know, we use 30 available. gallon and we stuff them. I mean, we, we cram them full. Well, we get those 13 that's gallon like that. We may have to put two of them in a bigger bag. But that would be what you want to go by. Yeah. Is it the same people that are every month, or is it just a different situation every time you go out? Well, when I was driving on Tuesdays, right, it was, it was different people, you know. And, and, and there's there's one house in mind that you'd go one week and they wouldn't have it set out, and you go the next week and it'd be double the amount, you know, because they. they well, that's kind of been that problem at our house, yeah. a lot, since there's no kids. To take the garbage take out. I leave to go to work. It's like, darn, I should got that garbage out, but it's pouring down rain. I'll Tracy will get it, and then she's like, hey, it'll wait till next week. Yeah. I think, I mean, could we say six large bags? I don't know if we put large. Okay. A lot of times we put adjectives in front of other words that get us in trouble. Yeah, that's <laughs> true. They can, find, they can find the six, they can find the body bags like we had. Well, there's one we used out here, if they had six of those, I don't know how they pick them up. They could sell those really full. I guess I've never seen one like that. No, Bigger than a contractor's bag. What do you call them, body bags? So yeah, they're six, eight foot long. <laughs> oh. They're deep. Yeah, a contractor bag will hold about 55 gallons. That's what they <laughs> had, that's about that. Yeah. Yeah, that's a shoulder pick one of them up. There's A V. So are we sort of in agreement six bags? I would say, I don't know how to add that adjective to it. I'm, I'm like you. I mean, I'm, I'm going to go on so far. I hate to throw adjectives in there, but I would say six normal size bags and not, and kind of exempt the, well, we could the great big ones, because that's, that's what will happen. We can start with that, then we see how it goes in a couple of months, we may have to look at it again. Yeah. So you're going to do a warning, or a, well, not a warning, but a notice. We'll put on the water bills for at least one month, maybe go two months. Just yeah. Get people heads up. So you want to say like effective October? Yeah. And what are we going to charge if they go over? Five dollars, wouldn't it? I, I, I just, how are you going to do that? I just. It's just going to be more work on the driver. I wouldn't it. pick it up. Just leave the extra bags till the next yeah. week. And see what kind of problem that poses, okay. because. I don't think, you know, if I took a job to drive a garbage truck, I wouldn't think that, I would I don't know how happy I would be to have to deal with money. Because people are probably not going to have to write change. And well, but even if they, even if he just kept up with how many extra bags and brought it into the city to, for marriage made a bill, but still, that's, yeah. then how are you going to get it? You add it to the water bill, then they just don't pay it. Can you turn the water off for lack of paying the sanitation? Do we ever have that? Will they deduct the sanitation off their bill before they pay it? I try to keep up with some that we disconnected when we used to do that. But 
that I knew was still there, and I'd pass it on to the driver to not get the trash because, you know, they're not paying for it. But. You're going to give the driver a clipboard where you get the record addresses in? Yeah. I think I'd be more in trying and leaving it first. Leave it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure how you want to word it, but I'll try to make it. You want to word it to the mayor? Maximum of, the, of six. I put regular size. Standard size garbage bag or something like that. Yeah, okay. And I would put in there, not the big. No contractor's bags or? Yeah. I mean, if they had one, I suppose that would be okay. But well, but we just, you'll have six of those. Yeah. And I'll second whatever you Which think. is the same as probably about 18 of the others. Okay, we've got a motion seconding further discussion. Those in favor signify that. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Next item is the uh, natural gas franchise, which I know everyone's going to be surprised. We only had one bid. It's one percent of the gross revenue, and for a period of twenty years. Was it 20 years last time? I think so. I think for standard. Well, I think most of them are 10, but this one's always That's been 20. I think the last one we did was 10. No, ours was 20 because we haven't done it. Okay. I'll move to approve Atlas franchise second. for a case. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, saying five, five. Uh -huh. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Two items. Yeah. Do we have to make a motion to approve the first reading? Yeah, we'll have to do an ordinance. Okay. Oh, really? Ordinance. Yeah, I'll make a motion we approve the first reading of the natural gas franchise ordinance. Second. second. We have a motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor signify the aye. Aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Annexation corrections. Well, there seems to be some confusion uh, about, uh, you can probably better describe exactly where, uh, maybe you're aware of can, but, but uh, uh, it's, it's unclear to me exactly where they're saying the discrepancy is. Uh, I, I read through it again. I really don't understand what they're saying the problem is. It's our Rains Avenue, which I found that one that it looks like it took it in, and I sent that to you, and I've even had discussion with Candy, and she keeps saying, no, 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 it's not the original. But that plaque clearly looks like it covers Rains Avenue. Um, and then it's our East 8th Street, just that one um, Randall Brancher whatever it is, 307 or whatever. Um, and then it's our little L shape going into tractor supply. I've researched those two properties as far back as the tax program will go, which is 2008. They've always paid city taxes. Um, I called PBA and I even, the East 8th Street was deeded through a wheel back in 1990 something, but I mean, I'm not researched anything there. The, pro the problem was when, th when this arose, uh, I don't know if this was Keith Dale's property or Betty's, but there was an original, uh, you had to have two ordinances, right? and you had to propose it, then annex it. And there was a proposal to annex certain properties. And there was a delay, a fairly significant delay in time. There was no second ordinance. 
But when the second ordinance was passed, it was a different description from the first ordinance. And it doesn't, the second ordinance does not seem to be inclusive of what the original proposal was. And I think that's what's got the state on uh, unsure and unwilling because the two ordinances, the one proposing to annex, is doesn't describe the same property as the one that was finally annexed. And when when was that done? It's in the nineties. That one was the nineties. Yeah. yeah. It's been it's been a long time actually. So what's the fix? Well, the fix uh, the fix assuming assuming that, that we've got to have the state on board. But an annexation taking place in Beaver Dam, which is kind of interesting at the end of it. But the fix, I think, is to try to get all of us on the phone at the same time, maybe the three of us, and just ask specifically, what is it that you, you want the city to do here to try to get this, uh, get this corrected? Because there's no way to correct what happened with the first ordinance and then the second one describing an entirely different track. And I don't know if Keith was on the council or not, because he did. In any case, that's what happened. What actually got concluded was different than what the proposal We really need to redo the proposal to make the record look right. Well, that's a possibility. Just do the whole thing all over again. Uh, I think it's, from the city standpoint, the whole, what was originally proposed is all in the city. And they've been paying taxes on it. It's not a dispute down here. The problem is at the state. Mm -hmm. So my suggestion is, when all three of us get the same place at the same time, that we, and we might just do it by conference call, we conference call in, and just see what it is they want uh, to try to get it cleared up. You might be right, Charles, the simplest thing is, okay, we'll, we'll read, we'll have another we'll proposal to annex, we'll go through the old system and annex it so that it's now all within the city. That might be the solution to it. I suggest that you do that, you all together, I think I have had that conversation with Candy and she keeps going back to referring back to, you know, they've been paying taxes all these years. That they've been, she's worried that they've been paying taxes all these years and now we are acting as though it's a new ordinance now. Or a new annexation now. Well, now they, they let them come through. I think it was, was it 80 or 82? It was when they went in there and basically sent out, and this is where the liking takes place, they basically sent out to all the cities and said, okay, you show us what you think it is right now, and you pass an ordinance that this is what you're accepting as of right now, and that's what it is, is right now with the state. But if those were done in the 90s. Yeah, they, yeah they, they, they were done in the 90s. Yeah, they were done in the 90s. But you said a concern, it seems to be when you talk to her, that they've been paying taxes because it's not within the city limits? Well, if we enact the, like a new annexation now just to correct it with their maps, then all these previous years they've paid taxes on it. What you want to do then? I mean, that's what I'm. I think there, I'll if the three of you can get on that conference call. That's probably the best way. Yeah, we'll try to report back in the next meeting. Okay. 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 Next item, the first item under new business is hiring of employee. Yeah, I guess we better back up the uh, tech ball that we had hired last month. Uh, never showed back up. So I was on the record that we hired him. Uh, he's no longer with us. And I ask that you could hire Brandon Harold of the sanitation department starting at 10, going to 10.50 in 20 days. I make the motion that we hire Brandon. I've got to get ready. Second. We have a motion and a second for the discussion. Those in favor, signify aye. Uh, aye. Opposed, same. 
motion passes. Okay. James, you have anything? Well, of course, everybody knows about the big league we had last week. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I had to put together with Larry sit down and figured all the man hours and probably water that we lost. But I was there when they cut that new valve in Friday. Uh-huh. That is a trip, son. It, it was well worth seeing one time. Uh, how anybody could put a water valve line that's got that much pressure on it. So, and I do want to say the guys really worked, worked good. We've got a good crew. We really do. They just did a great job. I, I wouldn't have been that. Uh, I'd have been so good to go home if I hadn't been in water up to my chest trying to put one of those uh, packages on. I mean, I, 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 especially the amount of time that it took them working. I just wouldn't have done it. I don't think anybody will argue with you on that. On the the crew we've got right now, they do an exceptional job. I just hope that, that as our time goes and our money, hopefully one of these days we'll get it to where that when we get these guys trained, that we are competitive enough that nobody will steal from us. That's that's what we're working on. That is a number one priority. Well, last week, I get to take this damn talk. Last week, we had all the stuff going on down the park. We had the graduation, the baccalaureate, and the prom. And I know there might be some people, I'm not going to get into that. There's always somebody that's upset with whatever we do. 99.9% .9 of people were thrilled. Number one, we got to have a graduation. The graduation is fantastic. I was it was awesome. And I will say this that's the first graduation I ever went to where there were fireworks, which I thought was pretty awesome, too. But I'm glad our community came together and we actually did get the kids graduated. I had a personal investment in that. I have a grandson that graduated. But I'm thrilled that we got to do that because, number one, there are some people there that had never seen that amphitheater. A lot of people had never seen that amphitheater. I uh, impressed them. But I also, I also am glad because those kids deserve that. If they hadn't have done it when we did it, they probably would not have had a graduation because it's beginning to look more and more like they're going to be put on hold more and more and more, at least until the, after the first year. So I was very proud of our community for going and doing that. Uh, again, above and beyond, the place was immaculate, Larry. You guys did a great job of clean, getting it clean. And the one thing I did do, can we paint the rod, the fence up there, the black <laughs> fence? That's the only thing I said, man, if we had that paint, this place would be perfect. But everything else. They just got finished this summer. I know. It just got finished just recently. I knew it did. It's raining every other day. You I know, yeah. But, but I said, I said, it just, it, 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 all, the, all the concrete work that's been done down there, the railing put up, it's just, the place was awesome. It was clean as a pen. I didn't hear, I didn't hear personally any complaints about it, which I'm very, very glad to hear. And uh, I just thought our, our city did a great job, and I'm very proud of us for going on and doing that. For, for us having it. Even if that's all we ever do is have that one, which I'm hoping we'll have some more eventually, but I'm just thrilled we got to at least do that one. And it was very, very nice. And you couldn't have asked for better weather. Unbelievable. Okay. Maybe you have I do. Uh, I need a motion uh, to authorize Paul to sign this lease and option to purchase on the water well down here. Thank you. Larry, after you after it's completed and signed by, by the mayor and by Mary, if you would, would you make a copy and give it to Mr. Overton? Uh, no. he, he, he actually was quite enjoyable. Uh, and, and we did put in the reverter provision that y'all, that he wanted 48 months, uh, which if, if, if you drill the well and you stop producing for 48 months, you're done with it anyway. So uh, he, he was fine. Now, did you write him a check out of your account? Yes, probably. Oh, yes, I did. He okay, goes so on right me. What's yes. interesting? <laughs> 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 I, I was just it's like a donation from their office. Say, that sounds like a done deal to me. I think it's just a donation from <laughs> AV. He didn't, by the way, he didn't ask for it. 
I assumed you had already given it. Well, the same when we bought the property a few weeks ago, I brought a check over for the gentleman. And your secretary said, no, that comes out of our escrow account. So we had to come back and get a check back made out to your escrow account. So. I guess they paid him. I make a motion for the mayor to sign that. Um, deed. Okay, motion second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Opposed, same. Motion passes. Mary, you have any? Larry? Yes, speaking of well, they're going to be here. Uh, I got a phone call this afternoon. They're going to be here next week to start yeah. the construction process. Good. Uh, we did have a, an employee that went and took his uh, groundwater treatment license test. Um, I guess it was last Friday or last Thursday or something. He passed his test. So uh, I think in, in the board of in 10 minutes, after they acquire a license, we, they we get a raise. Us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I would ask that we would honor that. That was that, that was already figured in though. If they pass it, they, there's a certain amount they go up. I think so, but I still I still like to have it a minute. Case it's fi fifty cents for a dollar. A dollar. Yeah. Dollar. So when they do a motion, we go ahead and bump his salary up a dollar, please. Okay. We have a motion and second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify the aye. Aye. Post same. Larry, can I ask a question? Do do when they get their CDL, do they get a bump up in pay? We never have in the past, but I think we're going to now. It's, it's almost at the point where we're going to have to to get a CDL drop. Uh, yeah, when we hired when we hired last month, we hired Jesse and uh, Mark. Mark, uh, we started them out at X amount of dollars an hour. I would like to ask. I, I failed to do it last month. I would like to also put in there they get a fifty cent raise after ninety days. That's standard, isn't it? Yeah. yeah but, but I was actually going to start a fifty cents less, and then they was going to go to that, but it wasn't worth that way in the minutes. Okay, so we just need to approve the 50 cent raise after 90 days. I'll make that motion. Second. We have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Those in favor, signify with aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Uh, the last thing I have is I talked to Mike and Dave about bringing in Mike Hall to always in the past, Mike and his department, if they seen someone working, they would verify they had a business license. Uh, policing is totally different <coughs> now than what it was 40 years ago when this was set up. Uh, I would ask that we could revert that job duty to David Stevens with the code enforcement. Uh, there, there's a lot of little things slipped through the crack, and I think we can, we can make sure everybody's playing with the same rules. I'll make that motion. Is that okay to you, Mike? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mike's a darn. That's Mike first. Then I have David. David is okay with you. Yeah. <laughs> did, did we have a motion? Yeah. Yes. Sorry. And a second. And a second. Those in favor signify with aye. Uh, Opposed, same. Motion passes. Anything else, Larry? Okay. Mike? No. Yep. Nothing. No. Oh, good. Good. Okay. David? Wow. Nothing from fire or coke? Okay. I do, have, well, I do have a question for them. <laughs> Mike, did, has, has crime gone down since we've had this coronavirus? I, I would say it has some, but I would say that a lot of it is not. I think some of it may be due to the lack of contact. You can understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Uh, but we haven't seen it. I can't say it's any more any less, but I think if we've seen any less, it's just because of less contact. Less contact. You know, taking a lot of calls that we have to take and not making as much contact. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Do we have a spokesman for your group? That'd be you. Okay. <laughs> he doesn't look like he's really <laughs> thanks. <laughs> he can do it. Yeah. Me and some other people were just wondering if we could donate money from fundraisers that we do to the city to help improve the uh, Olden Park. I don't think we ever turned down anybody. We we'll never say never. What, what, tell us what. Like, uh, we yeah. want to do like uh, tournaments okay. and, and stuff like that to help raise money. Because the park's really in bad shape. What things are you wanting to see uh, done? Go ahead. I'm uh, sorry, Paul. Yeah. Were you going to say? Like the court. The court's pretty bad. Uh, you can't tell where any of the lines are. Uh, you make it goals are vandalized. And uh, there's 
the concrete's kind of like tracks, so I mean, it gets rid of the ball. I, I rolled my ankle on it a couple times. And the bathrooms are, they can't even use them. They're basically the main concern. Sorry? They're basically the main concern, the bathrooms. Well, we have trouble bathrooms down the park down there. We have bathrooms are the worst thing for any park we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree. People are it amazes me what people do in there. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. disgusting. We had someone rip a sink off of yeah, a twice. bathroom down there, and that's not even the disgusting part of it. Yeah. No, it's, it's just like that. the stuff they throw on the wall is the disgusting part of it. Yeah, yeah there's toilets just laying on the ground sideways. Yeah. They just, um, well, the uh, doors, we've had them locked up, and people beat the doors in. Yeah. Right. Uh, and there's no way to keep them, for right now, there's no way to keep them operational. And I don't know what the answer to that is, other than the, the, the bathrooms would probably be way down the list just because of the expense. Right. Uh, but so your, your number one goal, well, let me back up a little bit. I just, I'll tell you, I'm going to be the bad guy here for just a minute, but I appreciate what you're doing. But I just want you all to understand why things are maybe the way they are, because a lot of people don't realize it. In the last year, I think I think, counted five or six times the monument has monuments been turned over there has been a number of times they've had to repaint some very vulgar graffiti on walls and ball courts there has been lights shot out there has been electrical boxes where the switch they had on there tried and the lights left on and then when they locked it up they basically destroyed they someone destroyed the electrical box to get to it and now the we had to take the breaker out because now it's bare wires hanging where they they whoever has torn it up uh, I know from talking to city employees there's been a lot of times they'll go down there and pick up five and six bags of garbage when the canes that are there are empty and then there's the issue with the and I know this has been happened more than a half a dozen times the human feces they've had to pick up off of the ball court and off of the floor off of the parking lot that doesn't lead us very much reason to do much with it if right. it's going to be treated like that now with that being said I, I appreciate what you all are doing and I'm willing to help in any way we can to try to make it work because I think you all are showing the effort I, we're going to have to have help from the people using it to police this well we was thinking about just hiring not, not hiring but like getting volunteers that be like a neighborhood watch but well that's a help. that's a great that's a great idea and, that, and that's why we're willing to, to do things because you all are, are willing to, to step up I know I saw a comment on Facebook, and this, and I'll be and first admit it really bothered me. Uh, an individual put on there and said, "Well, that's the police's fault because they're not patrolling enough." And I'm like, <laughs> "Really?" Yeah, you also have to and, 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 and that's to Hucks, out in the That's a long way to patrol. Yeah. Well, and, and this is really gross, but more than likely, if a person sees a police car coming, they're not going to use that's the dead. bathroom on the. Right. So they're going to wait till nobody's around. So, do stuff like that. <clears throat> but with that being said, like I said, I appreciate that y'all are taking the initiative. I mean, and Cindy's come. Of course, I've known Cindy for a long time, and she called and talked to me a little bit about it last week. And the the Facebook page, she put me on it, and I've been watching. I'm like, you know, there's a, there's a lot of people that's interested in helping, and that goes a whole long, long, long way, and we appreciate that. Walmart is also interested. Some, I think Justin Cooper saw it. Somehow, I some way. I haven't heard from him. He contacted me, and they were going to meet down there. Was it Friday? Saturday, Friday. 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 And then Friday. the manager ended up being sick, and so Justin oh, was Saturday. just. Was <coughs> no, they met down there Saturday just okay. to clean up and trash and stuff day. like that. And right before I, I think I called said, you Friday, and you were gone somewhere. Yeah, I was gone. I was, I was actually in some, oh, somewhere yeah. else. Our church would like to get involved with it because we're we're down on First Street. And and we've, we've done a few things there in the park and want to get back to doing more things. That is so interesting that you would say that because so many times I drove by and I thought, I wonder if we could get a collaborative effort. Because mm -hmm. I've, I've got, got we've got some folks that like work with the project the over there a little bit. Not a whole lot now that with yeah. this COVID, like we've got quite a few things down there. Underneath the gold, there's like a massive problem. And that might take a resurface job. I'm just wondering what else we need to do. The, the buildings are quite hazardous. Um, one, right beside the old concession building, is there's a big opening on the inside of it, and there's a bunch of like tools, like old rusty things exposed. I really can't explain it that well. And the taller concession building, there's the steps got taken down, I'm sure, for like safety precautions so people can't go in there or anything like that. And the playground is completely.
completely neglected, you know, which I'm sure like with COVID going on and stuff like that, playgrounds aren't like the best place. But even before that, there's a whole section of it that just got like ripped away. Right. Um, we're basically asking for permission to go down there ourselves and assess like potential hazards to bring to you guys without trespassing. You, almost, have, you know what I mean? Do you have to still have the big drop off at the edge of the court? It used to be when I played yeah. down there, and it's been long. long <laughs> You just have a big drop off. You go to the court and you like drop eight inches. You all still have that made sure you didn't go out of bounds. Yeah, when you did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you went. Yeah. It's like you get to a certain point, you don't get airborne because you know you got to land somewhere. Yeah. And it, I figured it must still, I wondered if it was still like that. Because yeah. it was, at one time, it was really bad. Like we need a priority list. Well, I, I would love to have stuff back from you all anytime don't feel like it's a trespassing because it's not. It's your car. It's, and we, we want to fix it. I know. I'm glad you're here back from Donald by any chance. We're looking right now to see what it would cost to get the lights repaired and put on a timer. Uh, they've not been on a timer before. I know someone thought they had been, and I think they've just had it. They had it were big turned off and on. And I know there's times when we would get calls from neighbors complaining that the lights were still on, shining in their windows at two in the morning. I know we've had times where police would go by and turn the lights off, but then an hour later they'd be turned back on. So the, our best bet, probably if, if it's cost effective of any, any at all, will be with the timer. Yeah, we, it, we about that. At least when it is set to go off, you might can turn them on. Do you think that people would be upset though if the timer went off right in the middle of the game? Maybe we just leave. I know. Well, well I mean, it would be. Well, what's the, what's he was talking about 2 o'clock in the morning. I played basketball in there at 2 o'clock in the morning. I was, I was thinking. Yeah. What are the park hours? Uh, most of our parks daylight, basically daylight, close daylight, at nine? 10. Ten o'clock. Well, and I'm even good with eleven o'clock, mm -hmm. especially if, if, especially depending on what we get. If it's something you know on a weeknight, it might be earlier, especially when school starts because of neighbors. But then on the weekend, I have no problem with you know something like eleven o'clock. But that's again, I'm not promising that. We're looking to see what it's going to cost to do that, and we are checking on. I know the backboards. Two of them look. Again, this is I'm just trying as a start. Two of them look okay. One of them may need some sanding and painting. And uh, there's one gold missing. Does that sound right? Yeah, the back one that's off by itself. So what we're going to look for right now is to see about getting the lights and the goals fixed as a number one thing. And then we'll go from there to see how it's treated. And like I said, I'm not worried about you guys. You're not the problem. And I know. It's the 1% that messes it up for the other 99%, but that is still something we have to deal with. But if, if that sounds satisfactory, that we're willing to start looking into that. When you get the neighborhood into police, and that, that's, that'll take care of it. Yeah, that's going to go a long, long way. I mean, like, if you were down there, like, y'all, this is y'all, like, project. Mm -hmm. You were down there, you saw somebody put something on the ground. You're probably going to say something. Oh, yeah. Where six months ago, you might not have said nothing. I might still say something. Right. <laughs> well, but I'm just saying, now you're going, hey guys, we're trying you, to. Well, you've got a little more vested interest in it now because you've got some sweat and, and equity that's into it. That's what talk about the neighborhood blocks. That's the vested interest in the place is what's going to get it fixed. And the more you guys can do, the more willing to do it because we see it's like progressive. Once you see it's not going to be tore up, once you see it's not going to be vandalized, you might add a little more here, you might add a little more there, and just keep going. The playground equipment. Talking about mega bucks, so that's going to yeah. be hard. Because I've never seen anything cost so much as playground yeah, They're extremely proud of there's their playground equipment. There's not even swings there right now, mm -hmm. are there? No, I think there's like one or two. There's a whole apartment complex that sits in front of the park that can't even use it. Yeah. You know, it's, 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 that's what really sadens the most. So, but the swing frames are there, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. But there's no swings. Okay, we might can. Yeah, we might can do Is there still a slide there? Yeah. 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 You know, because people are going to respect the park that looks like it's worth respecting. You know. And that, that, that again, that's what I say. When you have a neighborhood watch where people are actually watching, because you know, if you're out there playing ball and you're doing something you're not supposed to be doing, but you know this guy over here, he's watching everything you do, and he's going to be, you know, hey, you can't do that. Yeah. You'll stop doing it. I mean, basically, that's what we did when we were growing. Yeah. We used to have coaches from the high school team come in there and stand on the sidelines when we play down there. It's because he didn't want you breaking your leg on he that drop-off. He didn't want to get in a fight. He didn't want us fighting. I mean, we get 
I mean, I've been down there when you've had knocked down, dragged out everybody on the ground and rolling around. And, it's and not a foul until there's blood, exactly, right? You know, our coach, <laughs> she started coming down there, and when he started doing that, it stopped. And the games got better, we got better, a lot better. And I was a terrible basketball player, I first want to tell you that. But I had more fun down that park than I ever did in the gym somewhere else. Exactly. That's why we want to give the upcoming generations us get let them have the opportunity to tell stories like so, we did. And used to you used to talk, you talk about having a tournament down there. I remember when they used to have tournaments down there. And that's that's one that we have tried to get someone who has some interest and in know-how and the knowledge of who to contact to so we cannot have softball at the at the new park the way the, ba the baseball fields were lined up for little league and stuff you can't do a softball tournament but i would love to see a softball if they had a, could get the league started back up like they used to have and i know there's been some interest it's just not enough interest for someone to kind of take it and run with it it amazes me how many people don't want to go to the park over if i can but they go to Oldham. so I, I get it. It's just out of the way out there. But, you know, Oldham used to be a hot place. Maybe. And the more people that was there, that the more control it was. Yeah, it tells you, tells you how long. So it would have been 25 years ago. But the city actually accepted donations. That that backstop, their leech actually put the backstop yeah. on. Uh, fence was, the fence on the outside was on. Uh, they brought in dirt. I think the city did pay for the dirt. Like, right, the, clay, the, the, the clay that was brought in, it had some feet around it. But, but the problem was that it was built that way so that the May Ruth group, the, remember when the Little League field was up at the school down there? We didn't have a May Ruth park. So we got donations. All that stuff was put up so that Babe Ruth, people down there. Babe Ruth, would have a place to play. But now, in fairness, the biggest problem it was not the baseball team and the coaches that were working with Babe Ruth. The biggest problem were the softball teams, and in particular, of all things, the church softball. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because yeah, because they could play the mud, they could play. They, they, they play. Make not, they make yeah. And you had to rework the field over and over again. <laughs> but actually, at that point, the park was in pretty decent shape. And, but you almost got to have somebody there. Mm -hmm. They didn't used to have a guy that ran the park. Well, they had somebody that ran it for softball, for tournaments and stuff after the Babe Ruth. Of course, Babe Ruth, they did talk about Babe Ruth when we built a new park. Of course, I was not mayor when it started, but they talked about Babe Ruth then. But of course, really don't have a Babe Ruth now. And the way they've got it set up now, they do the freshman high school team as kind of the Babe Ruth team, and it's all played at the high school. But back then, it wouldn't let, they wouldn't let the kids play. Right, the yeah, that's. Uh, but, but the park was, the, it was not a bad Babe Ruth field, actually. It was small in certain places, but the, but the limp field wasn't bad. Of course, the biggest problem was the backstop wasn't quite high enough, and you've already brought up the lights. <coughs> the lights were never good enough to play, really. Yeah. They got dark. But, but it was a pretty functional part. Mm -hmm. And did not read, you all are interested in maybe a softball tournament? Mm -hmm. Larry, have you had a chance to look to see what it would take to get the field up? How much? How much? It'd be tilled, all baseline set, all plate set, no scoreboard. Well, Tiller, Tiller, we're going to help you. We got all kinds of volunteers. There's much more people that put them in here that are like white fellas. And then, like James said, like yeah. part of this church. If we go in there, and what we need to do, if we get the to seal, go in there and uh, score. I'm yeah. bringing the stuff uh, now, and I'll, I'll spray it with Roundup, kill all that grass on that end field, and then nice start working it. It takes about three weeks for that, that Roundup to really do its business right. right. So, I mean, it's not something you do overnight. I'd be glad to RC field check. RC field check. Could you have a kick? Well, the only problem we have with that right now, and it may happen, yeah. RC has I changed mean, hands. And it's switching the 28th or 29th of this month. And they don't even know if RC's going to be here <laughs> the 28th or 29th of this month. 
Initially, they were going to move the Beaver Dam operations to Bowling Green, but their main offices are in Nashville. And I was told, I talked to Dwight, he said some of the people from RC Nashville came up, and when they saw the facility they had here, they kind of liked it, but they didn't want to Bowling Green because it was a little further away from Nashville. So they don't know what they're going to do yet. So that's. I did take my tractor and a little trailer. We'd also have an issue that. We do have a contract with Pepsi for parks. I mean, that's. But then again, maybe Pepsi would have a score board. We had a ball doing that last year, but we haven't been able to this year because of this COVID. Those are minor things we're talking about here. The major things is getting it where we can make sure we can do all this. Well, we may have to poke that a scoreboard for a while. Did they have a scoreboard at Hartford? We used to have the one that had the flips where you just flip the number over. Did they have a scoreboard at the one at Hartford, James? Yeah. At Hartford, at the county? I go back to when they used to play ball up on Bruce School with that big coal fired stove. You remember that? That was scary. It's wonder somebody was killed up there for sure. You'd be dribbling down going to fight into that thing. Oh my gosh. Uh, that was pretty fun. Though. There's a there's a saying and a lot of people may not like it, but money follows ministry. And yes. if you do things that will promote and help people, the money will come. You can get the money. Yeah. I mean the money's out there. If, but you've got to put the effort forth like you guys well, want to to get it. My thing was, and I know we won't have a concession stand, but we can get a probably concession wagon from somebody and, and porta pots for the time being. Right. But for like a tournament or something, I just wonder what it would take to get the field where they could play ball on it, a softball tournament on it. Well, it's going to take them a month to even get it to the point where they'd advert you'd have to advertise enough to get teams up, so that's not something you can do. September's the best time playing anyway, it's not as hot. <laughs> well, and I, I really, and I appreciate that, but I know I'm, I'm trying to figure out a way to get you a tournament in <laughs> this fall to get while there's still interest. Because you all know as well as I do, I know you've, you're old enough, been around this kind of stuff, You'll lose a lot of your interest really quick if you don't get. Up seeing anything out That's why I'm wanting to try to find out what we can do about the, the lights and the the yeah, ball goals. Even the volleyball tournament would pull several folks yeah, in, and you could get that going pretty easy. Because mm -hmm. well, you gotta have a lot of court. Is it done? It's it's uh, gone too. Do you think kickball would be the best option with the field's condition? I'm sorry? Do you think kickball would be the best option with the field's condition? It'd be the quickest, wouldn't it? It would be quicker, and you could actually have it yeah, at the right. new park to raise money. And then you, then you could have the yeah. And then bring it back. Right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, oh, yeah, that's what it would be for, and that's what it would be advertised at. Yeah. Is that something you all would be? Absolutely. That's, that's more than what we want. Yeah, we thought we'd probably we have to go to another park, that tournament, raise the money, bring it back. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> It'll be easier on us because I don't know that we're going to have the time to get everything ready to play for this year. What about to get the basketball court into play? Yeah, basketball court. Almost that's going to be shut down. Yeah. Uh, we would even check with the uh, local Little League and look at the park schedule at the new park to see when tournaments are held, make sure what we can. We find a weekend. We can find so, that out tomorrow. <laughs> so. Kevin Davis, James Crump, and of course, y'all know who I am. So, and, well, like well, the, the, the park and the, the volunteer, park. the church yeah. volunteer. And we'll work with you anyway we can. I mean, seriously, we just, we just and then, sometimes sorry. have to have somebody just take charge. And that's, that's sometimes, so, like I said, I think the, the watch thing is the best thing to do, though. Does, does that sound like a plan? Can I ask you all, can somebody tell me a little bit about Oldham, the, the actual person? The Oldham? Latina Oldham. L-A-T-N-A -A was his name. He's, his family had a dairy farm here out just close to, maybe even on the property where Beaver Dam, the old Beaver Dam Great School was at. Well, Beaver Dam Great School is at, but somewhere in that area right there. But he was mayor here from like 19... 30 to 1959, like 20, almost 30 years. Yeah. And that's where the name came from. Uh, he is a, I think I'm right on, an uncle to Johnny Oldham at Western. I think.
think. He's right to Roxanne's. It's, he's Roxanne's uncle, too. Yeah. But I think uh, Johnny Oldham, you know, who's Rob from Harvard, Sandy played ball at Western, and that Western Athletic sure. Director, he's, I think, a nephew to, to uh, Latin Oldham. He was crazy enough to be mayor for 29 years. <laughs> that's a different one. That's, that's Johnny. Yeah. But they were family. They were, I think, nephew and uncle. They had the Ohio County Band Festival there for how many years? Yeah. The Ohio County Band Festival started out as the Beaver Dam High School Band Festival. It's the oldest band festival in the state of Kentucky. Since 1955 or six, it's, it's old. Yeah. I, knew how I can it remember. Was, and it, it was held at Oldham Park until and Ohio County High School was built. They used to march on Main Street. They had the parade the first, parade and then they had Lord, exciting. I remember that. They used to have the parade, then they had the band festival. <laughs> and you get to see all of it. I, then, I miss that. And then they had the big thing. The when Alvy Bennett was here, the FFA had the big uh, Beaver Dam team pull and horse oh, horse right. pulling. Yeah, I'm loaded. I'm loaded. Every year there. Loaded the well, my granddad and uncle both pulled horses, so we were there all the time for that. And it was a big deal now. There was a ton of people. The grandstand used to have a covered grandstand, kind of like the one at uh, the park there in Evansville. But you had steps like this tall. You remember well, how tall it was to get up? I don't remember being covered, Kevin. I'm not as old as you are. <laughs> I've just seen pictures. I'm older than he is, hush. <laughs> I've just seen pictures of the covered grandstand. But there, it was back then. It was it was a probably the best facility around yeah. a three three county area. I mean, Buckingham didn't have anything busy, like it. Was busy every night. Nobody had anything like it around here. I mean, Olden Park at one time was awesome. And I then mean, it was. It had a croquet court had, at one time. You did not step on the croquet court. No, I Mr. Hank Render would take care of that. If you stepped on that croquet court, they would, was, huh? those old men would run you off there. Gosh, oh, really? I've seen them play out there. I remember watching oh, them play. They were picky about that croquet court. You I don't, don't remember that. Much. I just remember in the 70s it was booming. Yeah. And then well, they that, put something in with sand. That was their croquet court. Is yeah. that what that was? Back on the back side <laughs> of the ballpark. Ball, the volleyball court was sand too, though. Well, no, this they was not a sand. very big area of sand. It was. doesn't seem like it was croquet. Like well, the croquet they little... played is not the one you played in the backyard. No, it was. Uh, they were serious. Blood. They played croquet for blood. That may have been what it was for them because I do remember whoever was very particular about that. These were people that were my great grandparents' age. Yeah. That played. Because I remember because we played baseball there a little late, and that's they had it up there probably in the seventy. Well, I know they in the seventies. Yeah. Uh, it was. It was a great place, and like I said, it. It was. I've got so many memories of that place. Thank it's amazing. I can remember when I was just a little boy going down to the band festival and seeing that thing. Thought how amazing it was to watch the old band. Well, it's, it's exciting that somebody's showing interest because we haven't had interest in it in a very long time from the, from the community. So. And don't ever be afraid to speak up and ask questions. Might not get the answer that you want, but usually we can find something that we can work together on. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. yeah, my question is, maybe I missed it. Are there any future plans for Old Park? Yeah, we're we're right now we're talking we're trying to get lights to turn off and on at a, on a on timer. Our, our, our yeah, our first thing is trying to get the basketball going. At least, uh, I was telling him and them, and I apologize, I didn't don't know when you came in. Uh, I was telling them in the last year we've had issues with about a half dozen times with the Monia being turned over. We have had lights shot out. We've had electrical boxes ripped off. Uh, we've had graffiti. We've had garbage. We've had human feces. Uh, and that's kind of why it just started going down. You just quit doing anything with it when you can't get any help. And I was excited to see that there are some people and kind of like I say, their neighborhood watch kind of thing. They'll, they'll, be, they'll police themselves. I'm not worried about that. And that's the great thing about it because that's the only way you're going to make it work. On, just because the way it's open, it's wide open. It's not like you can shut a gate at 10 o'clock and keep people out. So it's it's a 24/7 kind of thing. Do you guys know David? Okay. Yeah, but I just told him I said we kind of asked what the what their number one priority or, or goal was, and I assume just from the stuff I've read, the basketball the courts bathroom. were it, huh? In the bathroom. Well, the, the, like I said, the bathrooms are going to be a long while. But with the but with the, the, the basketball, we've got the Larry's meeting with the guy tomorrow to check on the electrical, the lights, and getting the, putting on a timer, at least for a timer we can set it to go off, maybe a different time during the week is nice on weekends. A, a lid or covering to go over the lights. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That would, like a lot of cities, there's like a some type of covering mm -hmm. that they put around there that seals over the lights so that they can't. No, he's talking about being shot. But I mean, they were. But they were literally shot out. It's you know I don't know that they'll have a cover and it would be bulletproof. And another concern I don't know who is over roads or anything. Like there's a lot of people that live in these areas that are kids are playing out in the streets. There are no type of sidewalks or anything like that. And people don't pay attention to the speed limit. Mm -hmm. And I go through there just about every day a couple of times. And a kid can run out there any time in the streets and uh, it was several years ago uh, a little girl got hit up there and I don't know if the speed bumps there is the answer I don't know uh, a lot of people in the community up there are wanting a sidewalk sidewalks put in something like over at a over heart from the cemetery. But now you which side of the road would you put it on? That's that's where we get into problems. Right. Because you put it on one side of the road. I thought about that myself. <coughs> one one person gets mad, the other person gets gets is fine with it. And you do it put it on the other side, mm -hmm. they're fine with it, and these are upset with them. Mm -hmm. So it's kinda and plus you take away people's yards and you put it in a sidewalk, you're taking away part of their yard. Maybe some people won't matter, some people will. Maybe a simple children at play sign. Well, that, and, and I'll give you a little background on the, the speed bumps and the, and the play signs because I love the idea of speed bumps. And I was on the fiscal court, and Greg Hill used to just scream at me. Insurance company is the one that will fight us on the speed bumps because, sadly enough, if somebody hits a speed bump at 50 miles an hour and tears up their car, the city's liable for damages, regardless of the fact they were speeding. And even if you have a sign up that says speed bump ahead and, and they still hit it, you're and then the signage about the uh, the children at play and again this is coming from courts throughout the years the insurance company tells us well if you put that sign up you're basically giving the kids permission to play in the street yeah. mm -hmm. so when somebody sees it and if they hit a kid it's like well you know you had signs up so you're telling them it was okay to play in the street and which is crazy to me mm -hmm. but that's the That would be another issue with putting a sidewalk. And I would think on the right hand side going down would be the obvious, the obvious place for what how it could be designed. Well, and then, I have, I have no yeah, idea and then that. the next issue, and I'm sad to say, sorry to say, just uh, nature of the beast, the expense. We're a small town on a limited budget. And that's why you see sidewalks on Main Street because the state put them in. And the only other sidewalks pretty much you see in town are on the old, what, first, second? I mean, not even first, second and third and fourth. Been here since the 1930s. But they only come up to, what, Lafayette? You know, Lafayette, that's, that's all you want to see. Well, I mean, up to Lafayette. That's, and, and that's just, we've talked about in our, we're working on our planning and zoning, our county comprehensive plan. And that's one of the things they've talked about was, was sidewalks and stuff. And it's like, well, you know, that's something that should have been mandated starting 60 years ago as some of these areas started to grow to have sidewalks. People didn't look at sidewalks then. That wasn't, and we're not the only rural area or small town that that's happened in. That's pretty much all of them. But that's the thing you run into on something like that. Hartford, with their, their walking trail that goes out like by Wayland Schools, that's the one you're talking about. Of course, they got a grant on that on their school route, safe to school routes to school program because it was a school. Is something that could be looked into? What's that? We can look. Grants are few and far between. Like I said, that was a that was a uh, safety issue on a safe what they call safe route to schools grant where they're working on. What are the requirements that would permit you to get a grant for something like that? 
just finding a grant that is available yeah. for something like that. Specified for that certain thing. The two big ones that we had. I know. The problem with the grant is it's specifically for whatever whatever they say it's for. Like if you're if you like the tennis court yes, we have a grant that we got in the back of the what, 60s, I don't even know. 70s maybe, where he could build the tennis court. Mm -hmm. We can never put anything else there except the tennis court because that's well, the way the grant works. Something park related. Or park related, yes. So I mean, and that's what I say. If we get a grant saying that if there's a grant that says you can put sidewalks in on on city streets for X amount of feet, or they'll they'll pay you know where you can match a grant or whatever, then you can go and, get, and that's what's put for for sidewalks. But the problem is finding a grant for sidewalks. Yeah, that's like I said, we could probably get a grant, and this is sad, but I'm just try, I'm trying to be honest with you guys. We could probably get a grant to do one up Highway 62 to the grade school just because there's a school up there. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. not and necessarily you right. But consider doing something like the Greenbelt. Well, again, we, uh, we talked about putting that trail. We, we talked about something on the old rail bed. We were going to do something on the old rail bed. Do you remember how the rail bed goes over yeah. and goes to Tom's Industries? Yes. Yeah. Well, it goes on out. It goes on out Rochester Road all the way past the toll road out there. Mm -hmm. We actually thought about building a walking trail out there, and we were looking for a grant for that, but we never got it. They that. had what they used to call the Rails to Trails grant, which was where they took old railroad beds, and but they had not had any money funded with them since back in the late 90s we, we, we tried to get that but it just didn't work but that would be a that would help because it would be going through the community you could walk the trail but we even but tried to I come think it, it would keep a lot of the kids out of the streets mm -hmm. and darken out there in front of them. yeah we've even tried to come up with a uh, at one time they had some for bicycle pass okay we'll turn that into a bicycle trail and you can still walk mm -hmm. on it but again, those grants have no funding on them. I mean, it would make a, a nice bicycle trail, a walking trail. Yeah, it would. It would I, we there. agree, but it's just, it's, on the way down. you have to write the grant. And, and, you know, well, our girls write the grant, it's tough. You know? Well, the problem is now there's no funding exactly. in the grants. Exactly, those kind of things. They've just kind of done away with those. Well, it's when, back in the late, eight, in 2008, 9, 10, when, that's when a lot of the grants started drying up. Is the economy, excuse me, tanked, what, in 09 and 2012? And they just haven't come back just because of the funding sources. It all came from government funds, which is basically taxpayer dollars, and no one wants to pay taxes any more than they have to. So that's, that was the first thing to go was your grants. They're just not near out there like they used to be. I have no problem looking for them and trying, you know, if we found anything. But, yeah. but trust me, if we can find money to get by writing a grant, we'll try our best to get it because it saves the city money when we do something like that. So, I think that would go a long way if the residents up there would know that, that uh, it's being looked into and there's some sort of hope or something that, that they're not being ignored up there. Well, and I don't think they're being ignored, but I, I don't I don't want to give a lot of false hope either because yeah. The sidewalk I thing. Message. Yeah. Message, you know. <laughs> as much as I love the idea of a sidewalk, I'd love to have them all over town. Because. Yeah. But you know, I know a lot of people up there, and they don't want to be bothered by the right message that needs to be sent. That you know. Everyone is complaining up there about the downtown area, the new parks, and things like that and the money is being found and they're concerned about their kids and things of that nature well and, and yeah. to me it's, it's about the right messages if the funds aren't available now then that's that's okay too but the residents up there need to know that that in the future it's going it, to it's it's on the table and uh futuristic uh Maybe something good can come out of it if it comes through grants. Again, if we could get the grant for it, we would definitely get. We're trying to get it. It's just something that, like he says, doesn't come along a lot of often anymore. Well, used to it did. But and, it and I want to explain something too, because I know, I, and this is not the first time I've heard something about the, the downtown and the parks. Of course, a lot of that funding comes from stuff that has to be related to tourism. We've been able to, of course, the park. You can say because we have the amphitheater, you have the four fields where you can have tournaments, mm -hmm. 
and that's sometimes it's a little bit of a gray area but that's been enough to be able to sell it as okay this is a tourism expenditure because we do have something you bring people in for tournaments you bring people in for shows the farmers market even you know you bring people in that's where a lot of that funding the downtown they will tell you anywhere you go that uh, you're when people visitors come into town they look at your downtown as kind of the front porch of your community and how it looks is determined what kind of community you are do they want to visit or not and that's tourism related so that's where some of that funding is able to come from to say we could use that that's why I said we couldn't use that funding to build a sidewalk as much as I would like to see those in a lot of different areas of the town uh, Liability. Well, but we're told our insurance company won't insure it yeah. if we put that sign up. We'll and that's and again, I don't agree with it. Yeah. But that at some point somewhere, and this is going to sound bad, but I've never minced words before. Somewhere, some point somewhere, you had a kid get hit out on the street where there was a sign up out there, and the lawyer who represented the family went and sued said okay you were basically approving her to play or him to play on that street so you're at fault for that kid getting hit because you put up a sign warning people so you're you're basically by warning people you're allowing them to play in the street which makes no sense to me I understand that now. now even I oversimplifying that <laughs> and I don't mean to be talking about lawyers but well, no, I caught that. I caught that. <laughs> but that, that's what they tell us from our Yep. I that's an old one here. We had to take signs down. We, we had to take them down. Insurance told us that we won't cover you. I, I noticed out on, a, I believe it's Cone Bridge Road, somebody's got a sign up to drive like your children live here. And the individual. Yeah, the individual did it. Drive like your children lives here. I don't know what that means. I don't know if that would meet state guidelines. Of course, they did it on their own. They didn't ask. Yeah. But. I mean, it's if they're going to work. speed limit? Twenty. Is there any way of maybe dropping it to ten? Twenty is about the minimum they'll let you do any of them. I've tried to get the downtown speed limit dropped, and they look at me like I got two heads. Is that state maintained? Is it state maintained? It is part of the way, isn't it? State maintained Bruce School Road? Not now. It's not at all. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Y
the little stone house on the right, and my it's brother's nice. house is right up front. Yeah. I mean, it, number one, it's an eyesore. But, and the tree company who were trimming the trees, we tried to get the guy to, to cut the limb, and he just said it wasn't affecting anything, so he wouldn't want to cut it. That sounds about like that. It's, uh, they'll butcher my trees in my yard. It's, uh, yeah, they'll butcher the something. The tree is rotten now. It, it's really it's really beat up. I'm not a tree expert, but it's got holes all in it. And you but can you, see the decay in it. And you may want to drop down the door. Yeah, I'll put David on it. I'll put him on somebody here on Second Street. Okay. okay. Yeah. And he'll go back to the property owner. We'll look at that. Well, that's why I, was, I didn't know if it was on us or if it's on the property owner. And if the tree can be maintained, that's fine. Right. I've got no problem with that. First tree. Like that hideous limb hanging over there. On the pole. The, yeah. Yeah. It's an old pole, maybe an old telephone pole. Or it's an old pole sitting there. There's nothing going to do it. It's just got spines and stuff that grew up on it. And when you pull up all the way to the stop sign, you can't see to the left. You can't see a east first tree. Can we pull that out? Who, who's it on? In front. Does that church own that man? The closed closet or whatever? Do they own that whole lot? Or do you yeah, know? I think so. Yeah, I, I'd say they probably wouldn't have any objection to pull it up. If they would talk to them. Roy Smith. Roy Smith is the granddaddy of that. Roy won't care. I don't think so. Not a, I'm pretty sure there's nothing going to it. How easy are they to pull it up? You'd cut it. Yeah. Cut it. Yeah. That's cut what it. I thought too. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all been listening to me too much. Okay, guys, so we got a plan, and you all will get with them. We'll work on the kickball tournament, get a date scheduled for it, and go from there. And we'll, I say, we'll post something on that Facebook page. If, can I post on it? Okay, we'll let you know what we're finding out on this other stuff too with the the lighting and the timers and that kind of stuff. And I'll check in with Justin too and see if they've got a day this week that they want, because I don't know what Walmart wants to do. I don't know if they want to donate money. I don't know if they want to donate paint. I don't I don't know, but they want to help do something. Even if they, they did paint, if you just paint the buildings a solid color just to get them, mm -hmm. they would look better at least, mm -hmm. even though they're not operable. Yeah. Get away from that blue. <laughs> Anything else from any of y'all? Good job. Well, thank y'all for coming. We appreciate it. I, yeah, I, like, I like seeing people here, period, but young people's even better. I like seeing people want to do something for the community. Because yeah. usually that's not left up to us. And we get tired of doing it. No fans, but we really do. All right. Anybody else? Ah, glad you. to. Hey, that guy probably grew up at Oldham Park. Yeah, I did. That's right. <laughs> I played ball against each other. I'm not going to say how old we are, but I'm telling you. Older than me. <laughs> We got bad body parts. Yeah, we got the bad body parts show for it. Yeah. I entertain a motion to adjourn. Do we need to go to session for anything? Do we need to go to session for anything? I'll second. Thank you all. Thank you all.